Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Practice projects ideas. Bar code reader. As reference on continuation of barcode generator, barcode reader application can be implemented by many ways. As per our last session about barcode generator, we have created a barcode 128 sky character and writing it up in PDF file. Now, in this session, we are going to see how we can read the barcode, the same barcode 128 sky character from JPEG file using barcode reader API. Now, why we have using JPEG file? The reason since we have created in PDF to make it in a read only, but JPEG file is the most efficient and available and the simplest way to get the information of any barcode. So just in case in any kind of inventory management system, you will be able to get JPEG file in an image file from anywhere. So that's why we are converting from PDF to JPEG and then we are reading that barcode and inserting that barcode into database as a product ID with other details using JTBC API and displaying the product details from product table from inventory database management system where we are maintaining all these information about that particular product which is associated with barcode. So let's start with the design. Number one, barcode reader will have a PDF file, which is the input. And now this particular input PDF file contains a barcode 128 sky character is going to convert it into the JPEG file. Now this image file, load JPEG file will contain the barcode image. That particular image has to be read by the barcode reader API. Now, once the barcode is read it successfully, next step is we have to connect the JDBC and go to the database using type 4 driver. In this particular example, we are going to use type 4 JDBC driver connectivity. And once the JDBC is connected, the or a database is connected, we are going to insert that barcode as a product ID into the database. That's our next block. Now insert barcode as product ID in a product table. Insert other details like product name, category, price, status, and displaying the all information about that particular table. That's what display database. So this will be the particular design of this barcode reader. Now let's take a look at the development. So as you can see, I have an application. It's a Java application, barcode demo, which has barcode generator demo, which we have seen in our last session. Now here we are going to read the demo. We are going to read the barcode and connect to the database and inserting it into that and getting the value from it. So we have a class barcode reader demo. In this barcode reader demo, inside the main, we are calling all those features like number one barcode generator number two barcode reader number three insertion product details and number four display product details now as for the choice user choice will see the functionality now let's take a look for the barcode reader what are we going to do in a barcode reader as you can see here public class barcode reader demo and JDBC connection is the next step. Now inside the barcode reader demo product, which is returning the string, that is nothing but the product ID. Now product ID is what exactly the barcode read it from the read barcode. This is a scanner uh, API, barcode scanner.scan from where we are reading from the JPG file. Now once this is done, we are going to insert it into the JDBC. So for JDBC, you can refer to our JDBC course and check it out how we work in JDBC. Now let's take a look at the demonstration. So the output will be in this way. TechRanch presents barcode reader. We'll see in the execution. 
first it will display you the choices one two three four five barcode generator barcode reader insertion product detail and display the product details enter your choice for one will be generate your barcode for two it will display the reader the barcode and some string the random string and that particular random string is going to be assigned as a product id and it will insert it into the product detail in the third option and uh, after the third option you, fourth option you can display and this will display the entire detail so let's take a look at the execution of barcode reader before that let's take a look at the barcode generator so we have a code of barcode generator where we are having a path where we are creating all these pdf files so always when we first execute we create a file with a new pdf file and execute this first or you can execute it when we actually execute your barcode reader it will create and call your barcode generator also so this is the barcode generator inside the main we are calling all the options so let's execute this barcode generator number one so barcode is generated so let's take a look at the so if you see here this will be your barcode generated this will be your barcode generated so since it is reading from the jpg files we have to first convert this pdf into the jpg file being short and just simply going to the ms paint and taking my barcode into the image and giving a file saving as sample underscore to jpg file here you can give mention the extension like this sample under now if you execute this this is what the barcode is read it now okay so this is how it is reading the barcode now we need to make a change in the path of the file and giving the different name sample underscore two now if we execute again and this time i'm reading it too since i saved it so it is loaded now it has created the class file so it's going to read it and execute the latest barcode which will be 7160830 question mark is nothing but the concatenation and an escalate escape character used by the api now once the reading is done but the rest part we are just picking this random string and adding is in a product id along with some other parameters like product name category price and status so suppose i gave this as uh, i part as a product name category is digital device or price will be 700 and status is out of stock so this information is being inserted in your database now if you want to see all the information in your inventory management system or any table at the back end we can do one thing number 4 you can see here all the information is this being displayed here for the table and for 5 it's execute execute so this is a demonstration of barcode reading application practice project in a improvised version you can use it for other source of inputs like since we have used it in jpg you can use it pdf scanning any particular hardware there is hardware available which can scan the barcode png file text file or there are so many ways you can use to get the source of input of these kind of barcode to read it number 2 you can use graphical user interface to make it interactive in a uh, kind of offline or online web applications you can use jwt or swing 
for offline applications and for JSP for static and web application. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming interesting project ideas. Let's make coding fun. Thank you.